Hi. Today I'm going to talk about catch cans. Do you have a catch can on your car, your diesel? Um, have you thought about getting a catch can? Do you know what a catch can is? What it does? Are there any benefits? What's the pros and cons of having a catch can? Also, can you fit a catch can to a petrol vehicle? Anyway, in this short video, we're going to find out, I'm going to try and explain best I can as to what a catch can is and whether it's worthwhile. So, here we go, buckle your seats. So, before I start, what is a catch can? Let me explain to you and I'll show you. It's much easier this way. So, every vehicle, diesel especially, but every vehicle has a breather pipe coming out the engine. And the breather pipe is to let the engine breathe. So, an easy way to explain it is, when your pistons are compressing your gas mixture, your diesel, it ignites through pressure. And there's blow-by comes down through the piston rings, goes into the main block of your engine, and that blow-by has to go somewhere, so they put a breather on your car. And this is normally for the top of your engine, on most diesels, and the breather normally goes into your air intake. So then when it goes through your air intake, it all goes through your induction system, right up to your inlet manifold. And what does it do? Well, what it does is it takes all that gas, Remember years ago when you used to see a diesel running, whether it was a Land Rover or a tractor or a truck, there used to be a big pipe would hang down from the engine, which was the breather, and you'd always see smoke coming out of it and oil dripping out of it. Well, because of the emissions nowadays, you're not allowed to do that. So what they've done is they've fitted diesels up so as the gas is pumped back into the air intake, and it's reburnt. But the problem with that is, coming out of that pipe is hydrocarbons, there's soot, oil, um, all sorts of gases, and that's going through your whole system. It's going through your intercooler, it's going back into your inlet manifold, and back into your engine to be re reburned. And, and what's left in it gets taken out by the, the DPF, the diesel particulate filter, which is usually on your exhaust. Um, and that makes it more clean, more efficient. In fact, the diesels nowadays are just as clean, if not cleaner, than petrols. So, that's what happens with your system. A catch can, and I'll show you with this one. This one's a ProVent. Now, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. This is a ProVent, and your gases come out here into your ProVent. It spirals down through a filter and then comes back up and into your intake. Now, what this does, it's what it says it does. It's a catch can. It catches your hydrocarbons, it catches oil, soot, you name it, it catches it and it builds up in this filter and it runs down I just bent this pipe up to let you see it runs down into this pipe which after a month, two months, three months you can empty, drain this out with the tap in the bottom of it I just poke it up there, out the way um, just away from the steering rack so every time you go to do an oil change, check your oil, whatever empty that wee pipe out and it cleans out your catch can now I've worked on a lot of diesels in my time and I've found a lot of them, when they're not running very efficient, when they're using a lot of fuel and they're gutless, it's usually the intake manifold is choked up. In fact, the exhaust manifold can get really choked up as well um, because it's burning all that crap and it goes out the exhaust manifold and sticks to that as well. But your intake manifold, I've seen the, the, the holes in the manifold reduced to just a tiny wee hole and the car's still running, God knows how, but it's still running. And that can be eliminated using a catch can. Very simple. I'll put some pictures up on the side here um, of what a manifold looks like. Um, and also your PC valve as well that lets all that crap out. It chokes up and it just makes a hell of a mess of your engine. So let's have a look at this catch can and I'll show you the workings of it. Now I'm just doing an oil change in mine as you can see, the diesel Wrangler CRD. Here's your catch can and here's your filter. This is it. Pretty simple. Now you can buy replacement filters or see the oil dripping off of that. So that's, that's oil that's coming out of the breather. Now 
let me just show you, I've slackened this pipe off to show you, if I was to take that breather off here, this is coming straight out of the engine and put my finger up it, look at that, that's coming out of the breather, now I'll put that back on again, and I'll tighten that up before I, I use the car, I'll just leave it sitting like that, now this is the one coming out the bottom, um, I'll just clean my hand, I'll get a cloth. So that was the top one, as you can see there's traces of oil in that pipe and it's all caught in the catch can. Oh, take this off. This is what comes out. Nothing. Absolutely no oil on my finger. Now normally if you take a breather pipe out, check it with your own car, diesel or petrol, check what's in your breather pipe and that crap is going through your, your, your system into your intake manifold. So. That just shows you the catch can's doing its job. Now, I'm going to clean this. Um, it tells you to replace it every so often. You can do that, you can go and get another filter. And one thing I will say, a downside is, if you don't clean that filter out, the gas isn't going to get shoe. Therefore, uh, that pressure builds up inside the engine. And of course, you know what happens when the pressure builds up inside the engine, it blows a seal. It starts leaking at the front end of the seal, the back end seal, the rear main. Uh, all because you've not cleaned the filter out or replaced it. So we'll go and give it a clean out and I'll show you how I clean it. Just give it a good squish with some of this stuff, brake cleaner. Um, don't overdo it, just take the worst of the dirt off and that should keep it clean. So yeah, I find this stuff's quite good for it. Liquid molly. And that'll do that. So there we are. All nice and dry. Pop it back in. Now an easy way to tell whether it's actually working is when it's running. Pop that pipe off and you'll feel it coming out of there air. Um, some people actually take their breather pipe and just vent it into the atmosphere and that's not a good idea because that's defeating the purpose say, emission standards and I wouldn't do that um, but however so catch can provent there's so many different makes out there um, so have a look around and see what you fancy I will tell you some people have asked me, can you put them on a car? Yep. If you go to a car and check your, your breather system, remember the old cars used to take the air filter off the, the air box to get the air filter out, and it was like a pancake filter, and there was always oil and crap in there. Well, that, that's out the breather. So petrol cars do it as well. So all you want to do is stop that crap going into your intake, and your manifold, manifold will stay beautifully clean. And yeah, I've never had a problem with this thing and I fitted the catch can early when I got it and I've done just over 100,000 Ks. But I do change oil every 5,000 and some might think that's a wee bit excessive but the amount of crap and oil in a diesel, honest to God, it's, it needs to be changed regularly. You don't want that crap running around an engine and, and, and trying to lubricate all the, the fine parts of your engine. It's, yeah, ludicrous. I change mine regularly, but that's up to you. You can stick with what the book says or change it more often. Anyway, I'm going to get on, change the rest of the oil in my car. As you can see, I've uh, drained the oil out. I'm just about to put my oil into the car once I put the plug in. Um, that's 7 litres, this thing takes 6.8, so with it being a 7 litre, I'll just put in 7 litres, 0.2 a litre's not going to do any damage to your engine, plus it gives me the can to put the dirty oil back in, and um, some of the car shops now are taking the used oil to dispose of it for you, which is a bloody good thing, but however, um, just in case anybody noticed, have you seen my previous videos on the FZ6? Um, I'm still working on this. This chip here I've got to build up with weld, but I've got gas weld to do that now. I built up this bit of the rocker cover, but I'm not happy with it. 
Um, I was going to do more to it, but actually there was a guy in Queensland, Motorcycle Records. I'd seen he had a cover and can't remember how much it was. So I showed an interest, um, you know, I clicked on it that I was interested in it. So he made a message me back and he says, mate, if you want to have it, I'll send it to you. 100 bucks covers the cost of that plus the postage. And I thought, you know what, at least it's a good cover. I'm not going to have much problems with it. So I've ordered that. Um, so once you get the bit welded and engine, that cover, I'll get it all replaced. And that should be that. But anyway, that's info and catch cans. And yeah, I'm glad I put one on mine, or probably by now I'd be suffering problems with the, the inlet manifold. But anyway, that's it for today, and I'll catch you later.